Well, Brooke is back now with a story about how to get famous if you're a child actor just starting out. Yeah, you know, thousands of talented young kids are out there dreaming of hitting it big, but it's tough. It's competitive. The odds are not good for them. So what is the best way to launch a career? Well, in tonight's Big Picture, we're going inside Hollywood's child star making machine. What advice would you give to the child and to the parent? A lot of parents get very consumed in the whole Hollywood thing and it becomes more about them than it is about their child and their child's dreams. First thing you need to become a child star, confidence for that audition. Do you know, do you know Jen? Yeah. You do? Are you excited to meet her? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Don't embarrass him. When I, when, I, when I look at this audition tape, it, I, I am blown away as to how relaxed I am. This is Teen Wolf star Tyler Posey when he was 10, just before he got the role opposite Jennifer Lopez in Made in Manhattan. I mean, you got something on your face. Auditioning now, I wish, I wish I was still a little kid because it's, I get in my head about it and it's, got, it's gotten worse. Next, you need time and money. Headshots cost anywhere between $200 to $1,000. An agent gets 10% of your paycheck and acting classes are about $275 a month. Make sure you get your performance out to your audience. If you don't love the audience, they won't love you. What advice do you give the parents of child actors? Don't expect it to happen by next Thursday. Okay. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Meet David and Chanel Gray, the husband and wife team behind Gray Studios, which helps prepare kids for Hollywood. We are turning out stars and a lot of working actors. We have Raven Hannon from Cloud Atlas with Tom Hanks, Kyle Silverstein from Blended. We started Logan Browning, who was in the Brass movie and Tyler Perry show. What's really cool is Chanel is actually Ariel Winter's sister. Gray is where the Modern Family star trains now to help put her talent onto the screen. It, it is a huge sacrifice if this is something you're really passionate about. Um, you have to give it 110%. Sometimes you're going to have to miss birthday parties, you miss school, you miss out on some fun things that mm. normal kids would do mm -hmm. to pursue your dream. Another thing you've got to do to make it, you got to speak up. They have to be engaging. It's, it's harder when, when a child comes in and they're very quiet and reserved because then we know that that's how they're going to be when they're on set. What advice do you give the kids? I think they have to realize that most of the time the answer is going to be no. Um, and to remember that the reason they started doing this was because of the they love of it. the craft yeah. that they had. Not that I want to be a big star, but I love what I do. So, do all that, and this could be you. I have a little surprise for you because E.T. E. was on the set the first season, Modern oh, Family, and God. here you are, look at oh you guys, God, talking oh about God. this very thing. <laughs> yeah, when oh you got God. the role. Was like, was it like, was the most exciting thing I think I'd ever <laughs> yeah. heard in my whole years yeah. I've been alive. Best yeah. acting news. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. This is so oh my God. Oh my god, it makes me so emotional because we started the show when we were so little and we've kind of grown up together and I love that. Now, Arielle did tell me that she is fully aware that the life of an actor can be inconsistent, it can be unstable, so she's got a backup plan. She plans on going to college where she will major in business and law and minor in psychology. Good for her. She's as intelligent as she is talented. And grounded. Yep. Well, tomorrow